in this session i am going to explain you about the logical tree structure so logical tree structure is the internal representation of the masses uh, provided by the broker so broker this uh, b or k or in integration server broker just fetch the request message uh, which is coming from the uh, client and uh, the application where we are using the different parser parser converts this uh, bit stream of the message coming from the mqq and convert into the logical tree structure and uh, we have four logical tree structure just a message and uh, local environment environment and exception list let's uh, create uh, one application and uh, we'll understand the logical tree structure application name is uh, logical tree structure app Uh, here we are going to take uh, request messages from the queue and queue provides a secure and reliable uh, layer uh, for the message which is sent by the client and broker read the client uh, messages client request messages through the MQ and this MQ will be connected by this broker we can see here this queue manager name is QMGR and uh, here We will understand the logical tree structure uh, firstly in this queue MGR queue manager we will connect uh, two queues we are going to use in this queue let's create uh, one queue local queue one is in finish out queue is uh, we will use out so I think already we have out so we will use these two queues in the service in the basic queue name it's in from the in queue we will receive the message from the client and in the out queue will provide the final response to the client save it going to deploy the service in the default integration server service deployed will uh, launch the debugger and add the breakpoints in the service here 
one more thing uh, here we are going to use the domain this XML and SE domain we are going to use here and this uh, parser is responsible to convert the bit stream of the message coming from the MQ uh, which is uh, received uh, from the MQQ into the tree structure. Save it and deploy it again. Okay, so now we are going to push uh, one message into this queue. Put message. Uh, we are just uh, sending one uh, name tag element. Name Atul. Name. Once push, so our uh, flow will trigger. Oh, launch, it is not launched. Now push the same message again. Name. See? Our flow picked the message from the queue, provided queue. Here we can see the four logical tree structure. First is message, local environment, environment and exception list. Here in the message we can see like uh, this properties by default uh, created by the broker and this MQMD header is uh, by default created by the message queue MQ this is provided by MQ and XML NSC will contain the data part what XML data we have uh, passed to the service so here it is XML parsing errors have occurred Let's pass again. Push. Here we can see our data name. Now you can see here our name is visible name Atul. So in the MQMD we can see like we have uh, we push the message from the in queue and uh, encoding we are using this by default by the MQ and uh, here we can see the message ID here masses ID and correlation ID which is uh, the unique identification of the particular message provided by the MQ queue manager from uh, the queue manager where the request is coming here we can focus on the put date and put time also In the properties, we have encoding, coded care set ID, message set, message type, message format. Earlier, we were using all these message set, message type, message format in the MRM format. But uh, in the from the IIB version 9, we have a 
option to create the DFDL. So we are not using this now. Now we are going to send this uh, request uh, message to the out queue. Step over. It's terminated means our task is finished. Process is finished. Let's see in the queue. We can see the out queue. So third uh, we have to see the third uh, response go to the browse message in the third uh, response we can see the put date and time user identifier application name masses data and uh, masses id we can find here if you want to see we can open it by double click on it go to the data part we can see our the output response now come back to the integration development environment That's all.